What's up, guys? This is Ashley from Ashley and TV, and today I'm with the one, the only, David Weeks. How are you, David? Good. I'm good. How are you? I'm very good. So today you're in LA. Yeah. You're originally from New York City. Yeah, from New York, originally. How? So what's the difference between vibrations of LA to New York? Is there a difference in people and things like that? Definitely, there is. Uh, some more relaxed. Some are like more chilled out. Some very like you know New York's like fast paced. We're getting money. We gotta go. But uh, some spots in, the, in LA are like that as well. Downtown LA, certain parts like people are hustling, getting money. So it's like you know they can relate to each other in some sense. We also just saw that you just came back from doing some of the homeless things for homeless bags. Tell us more about that. Yeah, so basically I have this thing called Lunch Bag Challenge. Remember the ACL Challenge? Oh, yeah. So people were pouring buckets of ice, and that was amazing. I, I liked how that went through and transpired. So I was like, all right, how can I get my people to like help out with like poverty? And there's people out here just blowing money on clubs or whatever. You can't tell me you ain't got a few dollars to put together and make some sandwiches. So I'm like, all right, what we'll do is I'll do it first. I'll spend $250 out of pocket. Well, feed however many people as I can with that, which is usually around 300 people, which is really, yeah, really a lot of people. Like, today we fed 400 people. Now I'm going to challenge five more people who I know can financially feed five, um, those people, and I want to see if they step up to the challenge. And if they accept it, then they can go challenge more people, and that's how we keep it rolling. I just want people to rise to the occasion and, like, help out. Wow. That is so beautiful. I really like that a lot. When did you first start this? Officially, I started it almost about a year ago, and I've done it in like 10 to 12 countries so far. This is good for the people, and you know, when it all comes down to it, you got to keep it real. From the everyday people, people are struggling. Sometimes it gets hard. Listen, there's a million stories I hear out there, because I'm not, I'm, I'm not just, here, take your food and I'm going. I listen to those people, I talk to those people, and I ask them sometimes, like, I wonder, I'm curious, how, how, what, how does one get in this situation? Like, you know what I'm saying? Do you have seven brands in total? What? So seven brands in total. So tell us a little bit more about that. The brand I'm most known for is Embellish NYC. It's a denim company I started when I was about 18. I started off making t-shirts and glasses and anything basically to do to make money. I moved it out to LA in about 2013. Kind of hit, hit, hit rock bottom, you know, was almost out. And then I had to design something and think of something really fast to be able to stay out here. And I, in my last month out here, uh, I designed a pair of denim, which led into the new embellish NYC that everyone knows, which is this big denim brand. Oh, oh my goodness. I also got to see that one of your lines, you got to do a runway for it. Yeah, yeah, Reese Paris. That's one of my, that's actually one of my favorite lines. That's, that is my favorite line because it's more personal with me. It's like, I spent some time out there in Paris, and when I was out there in Paris, I had these crazy dreams, and that's what the brand means. It means dreams, Paris. Because I was out there just having crazy dreams, listening to my boy's song, and his song was uh, my boy Dougie F. His song was called "Don't Let Him Get in the Way of Your Dreams," and I was it just like from there, it just I was like, all right, this is like a personal brand to me, and it was allowing me to have fun again. Because after a while of making jeans, it's like, all right, I'm making jeans, but how many? You know, you don't want to go out of what your customer base knows. But with this brand, I get to just go wild and wacky and put all kind of colors together and just do kind of crazy stuff. Wow, that is so fun. Even Kanye wearing it. Yeah, Kanye wearing one of my jackets. So tell us a bit more. We got to reach out to you also because we saw your amazing skateboards. Oh, thank you. They are freaking awesome. Yeah. Can we see a little bit more? Do we have one? Okay. All right, so this is um, our Ali piece. You know, the famous Ali picture. I don't know if you guys can Wow. Yeah, but it's uh, wrapped on a Louis Vuitton. Uh, it's wrapped on a Louis Vuitton board. It's pretty cool. It's one of my, yeah, yeah, it's really detailed. And then we shattered glass onto it because, like, it just like, gives this cool shine effect. It's really one of my favorite pieces. Shout out Brains and Noodles, man. He came through and we, we put something together, especially with this one. Also, with each um, brand that you have, a lot of them, you said, a lot of them vary in different things. One's a little bit more personal to you where you can have fun. The other one's a little bit different. What inspires you for each little brand that you have? Yeah, it just it just really matters about the mood I'm in and the music I'm listening to. Like I love music. I listen to music all day. So it's like the music I'm listening to really, you know, makes up what, what you're gonna wear. Like yeah, okay. because like if I'm listening to some uh Man, I listen, and it's crazy, I listen to all kind of genres, so you never know, like you truthfully never know. What's your favorite, if you could pick? My favorite genre, I mean, it is hip hop, truthfully. <laughs> like, it is, at rock for sure, like Nas, uh, Tribe Called Quest, like it is like true hip hop, I'm not talking about that stuff that's on the radio right now. Oh, okay. But, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like real hip hop, 
And that's what inspires a lot of my stuff as well, like real hip hop. But I love jazz music and I love salsa music. It's one of my favorite because like, so, yeah, because the beats is just crazy. I may not be fluent in Spanish and it doesn't really matter because like music is its own language. It's like the beats from salsa music is just like, you listen to Oscar De Leon, you're like, dude, what, what the hell? Like, Have you ever wanted to learn salsa? Oh, uh, dancing? <laughs> I'm a little big. I don't know if you can see that. Kind of tall. You, it doesn't matter. Hey, I'm big too. We, can, you can, you can still, you can still move in there. Yeah, um, I can try. I can dance with any guy. But I grew up with Dominicans, so it's like, yeah. What race are you? I'm black. I'm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Was, like, in New York, it's like so many Dominicans. Like we grew, we, you know, like we all take a piece of each, each other's culture. Yeah. Oh, awesome. I find out in LA too. I, like it's so funny. I feel like a lot, like a lot of the um, black people out here in LA can make like Mexican food really good, and I'm like. How'd you, how'd you do that? Like, you know, like, well, my, I found out my friend yesterday. I was like, you can make that corn thing that the lady, that the Mexican lady oh, makes, you know? Yeah, that is amazing. Like, I'm like, yo, I don't have to spend $4 on that no more. Like, all right, bet. Like, cause that's my favorite corn. Oh, the lote is the best. And they rarely come around, so when they do come around. Oh, and they definitely don't come to, like, they, sometimes they might go to, like, certain neighborhoods, but they don't be coming in Hollywood and all that. So I'm like, if I catch you in Hollywood, I buy three of those. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Let's talk about the shoes. The shoes are dope, guys. It's gotta be the shoes. <laughs> oh, my God. So explain about these shoes. How'd you come up with the idea of it? What's going on with these shoes? So I came up with the idea. After, shortly after the idea of my art show, my art show is called Bridging the Gap. So basically I wanted to bridge the gap between hip hop, fashion, music, and art. Because it's all things that I'm a part of, it's all things that I love. My shoes are exactly the same thing. So it's featuring my favorite artist, Takashi Murakami, his signature flower. Uh, he actually signed my leg too. So <laughs> if someone, yeah, he drew on my leg and then signed it. So if someone was to cut my leg skin off, that's about $60,000 right there. But. <laughs> I hope nobody cuts my leg off. <laughs> no, but let's cut that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and then the rest is, um, again, uh, the colorful Louis Vuitton that most people are familiar with. He's the one who actually designed that. More, yeah, it's called Murakami Louis Vuitton. It came out in 2006 with Marc oh, Jacobs. Yeah. Wasn't that also in, in the broad? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. awesome. That's the guy that's in the broad. He also did this uh, famous album cover by um, Kanye West, the graduation album cover. That's what that is right there. So it's the Kanye West bear and it's the same thing right there. So basically, he's a huge inspiration of mine, one of my favorite artists, him, Keith Haring, those are my guys. Like, so I had to pay homage with a nice pair of Stan Smiths. That is so cool. With them being artists, do they kind of contribute to your ideas and kind of inspire you for your brands? Yeah, you no, know, 1,000%. They're the reason why my stuff is so vibrant and my colors are so, like, I'm a big guy. I, I'm always in the loudest colors. Like, and that's not normal. Like, you know what I'm saying? But they're, they're the reason why my brands, all my colors are just, like, you know, always, just always, because it's, it's what I like, you know, it's, I came up on these guys. Yeah. Now you have been featured on Complex and Hype Beast. Yeah, so when you first saw it, did you freak out a little bit? Yeah, because I was like, you know, what it was is like, I, I, I've been creating such great content, and I can say that confidently, like without sounding narcissistic, but like I've been creating such great content for years upon years, and I felt like those brand, those blogs had something against me, but it wasn't really, I just wasn't on the radar. But now that I am, I, 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 would, I used to be so mad, like, oh, I don't get this post, I don't get this post. Now, like, you know, circle back around, look at it now, I've got seven posts on both within the last few months. Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of crazy. It's like it, it comes full circle and just timing. Like you know, yeah, people right. just run and rush things. Like timing, man. You gotta work your way up that ladder. You gotta be patient about it. For sure. Yeah. And I gotta learn it myself. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have anything for the youth? So there, I know there's a bunch of youth out there in the world, yeah. and they they're wanting to start a new brand. They're wanting to start this and that. Do you have any advice that you can give them? I mean, for the most part, is like. I typically tell people the same thing because it just it, it generally applies. Just keep going. So basically, like, if your stuff is whack, right, and it can get better if you keep going. Like, so what I'm trying to say is like, just keep pushing yourself, keep going. And I know I know it may sound so generic. I know it may sound so general, but keep going. And like, you know, what I'm saying, just keep pushing. Like, so basically, if a door is locked, right, and you want to get through that door, how would you get through it? You're gonna push it. If you had to, if you were gonna die on the other side of that door, you would just keep pushing. So that's all I just tell people: keep pushing. Eventually, that door is gonna break open. Whether they open it for you 
or you push it open. And you have to keep pushing even though, you know, money is not involved. So many things, it's like, you gotta overcome adversity. There's uh, yeah, money, all that, like, it, it, you know, it plays a factor, but it's like, you gotta find a way around it. And like, you know, I'm not expecting everybody to come into it all level-headed, you know, you're gonna have your downs and be going crazy. But I mean, just know at the end of the day, if you keep pushing, you'll be all right. Oh, I love that. Now you have you're doing your skateboards right now yeah. with yeah. Louis Vuitton yep. and all the cool brands, yeah. dope brands. Are you gonna feature any other um, transportation? You're gonna do some car, um, some not some cars, some oh, some bike. You did a car. Did a go yard car. Oh my god, you did. Go yard car. It went crazy. It went viral. It got like three million views. Did a go yard Lamborghini, and then Lamborghini had reached out to me after seeing it. Was like, we like what you did. Let's do it again. This time, just put sponsored by Lamborghini. So the next event, uh, they sponsor it. Oh, that is so dope. Have you ever done any bikes? Bikes? No. Uh, someone else has done a bike recently oh, okay. <laughs> in New York. Oh, okay. Somebody who remained uh, unnamed. But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they did a bike and it was really cool. Uh, much props to them. Yeah. That is so funny. Do you plan on making like little kind of ones, like little phones and stuff for the future or you're not too sure yet? Uh, I've done. Remember those tech decks? Oh yeah. So I, I've actually, for some of my collectors, they might want something for their kids or whatever. So I've made Louis Vuitton tech decks. It's oh, pretty that is cool. so yeah, dope. Yeah, they're tight, they're tight. You can catch them at my show, but they're really limited. I don't put them on my website. Okay. But if you're at my show, you can grab it. Like, you know, they're not that expensive. If you were stranded on an island, <laughs> right? You're, you're stranded on an island. Right. What are the three albums you would take with you? Only three. Only three That albums. you can listen to. Illmatic. Number one for sure. Second, uh, damn. Uh, uh, Tough question. Low in theory. Oh, okay. Low in theory. Oh, uh, yeah, low in theory for sure. Um, and college dropout. Oh, that's dope. Good job. <laughs> Your favorite place to eat out. How to pick one? Favorite place. Mm. What, what kind of food? Though? Any food. This could be from New York. Any, any, any country. Uh, Doesn't have to be LA, NYC, anyway. It's very hard. Because, guys, he travels everywhere. Oh, Yankee Vegetarian. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> travels and he's vegetarian. Yeah. So, my choices are limited. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's funny. One of my favorite places in LA was Wakano. Like, that was my oh. joint. Like, that was my joint. But I don't eat meat anymore. That was oh. a few years ago. When did you stop eating meat? Like, two and a half years ago. Two and a half. Do you feel better in your body? You feel great? Amazing. What? I ought to do that. That sounds like a good one. Yeah, I recommend it for anyone. So do you only eat, so you're vegetarian purely? Wow. Yeah. Do you go to like Whole Foods a lot? Uh, yeah, uh, Whole Foods. I live in China, I don't know if you know that. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so I, I spend a lot, most of my time in China, and we have something similar to Whole Foods. You know, like I don't really want to say it because uh, it'll sound <laughs> funny if I say it, but uh, yeah, it, it, it's something similar to Whole Foods. But when I am in the U.S., I go to Whole Foods, I go to Trader Joe's a lot as well. Oh, perfect. I love it. And in, in China... Is, is the environment, how's the environment like? Do you get, <laughs> is it crazy? It's kind of crazy. <laughs> is it? It's, it's an amazing place, I love it, love it. How long have you lived there for? Um, well, so yeah, I moved there in July of last year. Wow, that is awesome. But I don't spend like all, all my hardcore time there because I'm in and out so much, like, yeah. Do you ever um, speak their language? Yeah. So you, so you're good? No, I'm terrible. Do you know any words? Yes, I know a lot of words, but it's like, it's terrible. It's like, like uh, a Spanish, uh, someone trying to speak Spanish, like, hola, como esta? Like, that's how I'm speaking Chinese and, just, and my Mandarin is absolutely terrible. Like, we can always, well, you're there, so, so you can practice. Yeah, 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 I'm there. Okay, David, what is your most memorable moment from your success? Hmm, very good question. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't think it's came yet. I don't think it's game yet. I think I'm gonna have a memorable moment. Just like, damn, this is crazy. Mm -hmm, yeah, it's like, yeah, it's gonna blow my mind. I've had my mind blown many times, but it's just like, I know there's something that I'm just gonna wait for to say. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I've had some, cause it's too many. I've had, I'm so thankful for everything that's been happening. Like, it's all at the same time too, so it's kind of weird. Yeah. Like, you know, it's like, right now I just had an art show, and then, bam, I had this crazy. Uh, fashion show where I, you seen the uh, Reese Paris fashion show yeah. shut down New York City illegally had thousand people in Times Square on the busiest day in New York City while I'm hopping out of a truck it was just insane I, Miami I, I bought a Goyard Lambo out I had 
200 people follow me from the from the lot to my art show. It was just so many, so crazy. Like wow. LA recently, like last two months ago, I had a DeLorean with the Back to the Future sneakers. I flew my whole family out to the West Coast for the first time, had my premiere art show. So I, I, I can't like, I can't choose one. I'm thankful for everything. Yeah. yeah. That is amazing. God has really, truly blessed you. Yes, and wow. sprinkled a little bit of this oh, on Oh, oh, <laughs> little bit of the sprinkle Jesus. <laughs> okay, guys, be ready and let them know your social media for now. David Weeks NYC on everything. That's D A V M. <laughs> I forgot my own name. That's crazy. <laughs> it's David Weeks NYC. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for being on our show. We appreciate it and we're so excited for your shows. We got to be there, guys. If you're not there, then, then you're crazy. Pull up.